Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. At sa video ito, ating sasagutan ng isang word problem na kailangan ng Venn diagram para masagutan ang isang word problem. Okay. A survey of 300 first-year students at a large state university was conducted to aid in scheduling for the following year. Responses indicated that 194 were taking a math class, 210 were taking English class, and 170 were taking science class. In addition, 142 taking both English and math, 111 taking both English and science, and 91 were taking both math and science, and 45 were taking all three. Draw a Venn diagram to represent this survey's results. Find the students taking letter A, only English, B, math and science, C, math or English, and D, none of these three subjects. Okay, so first step, so separate natin yung mga given. So sabi dyan, total of 300 students. And then, sineparate ko rin yung mga given na 194, taking math class, 210, taking English class, 170, uh, science class, 142, taking both English and math, at saka 111, we're taking both English and science. And then, what else? 91 are taking both math and science, at saka 45 are taking all three. And then the next step, so since three subjects yung na-mention sa word problem, so kailangan mag-drawing din tayo ng three circles. Na isang circle represents to one subject. So it depends sa inyo no, kung saan mo isusulat ang English, alin dyan ang math, alin dyan ang science. Dapat, ang importante, tama yung sagot mo o yung numero kung saan mo ilalagay yung numero according doon sa word problem. So, ang technique dito sa pagsasagot ng ganitong word, pro ng ganitong word problem, ang una-una niyong ilalagay na numero kung saan given yung tatlo. 45 were taking all three. So, ibig sabihin, itong circle na to, itong space na to, yan, Itong gitna ito represents na itong tatlong ito nag-common. Okay? Kung mapapasin mo yung line, di ba? Ayan, ayan, oh. Isa, science. Ito sa math. Ayan. At ito sa English. Na kung saan, okay, dito sila naging common. 45, we're taking all three. So, sulat natin 45. Okay, so 45 jan. And then, anong kasunod? Unahin naman natin, or ang isunod natin, yung both. Kasi ang pag sinabing both, dito yan sa mga gitna. Yan. Ito yung gitna ng English and Science. Ito ang gitna ng Math and Science. At ito naman yung gitna ng English at Math. So, doon muna tayo sa mga boat kasi kailangan nating lagyan din muna ito okay, bago natin masagutan to Okay? Uh, saan muna tayo? Okay, 142 taking both English and math. So, asa na English at math? Ito yun, di ba? Ito ang English at math. Okay? Ang sabi dyan, 142 daw ang kumukuha ng both English at math. So, meron na tayong 45 dito. So, ibig sabihin, ima-minus lang natin. 142 minus 45 para makuha natin ito. Itong space na to. 142 minus 45 is 97. Okay. 
Okay. Next. Okay, erase muna natin to. Ayan. Next one, 111, Taking English and Science. Okay, English and Science dito. Ayan, ito yan, English and Science. Okay, so sabi dyan, 91, ang kumukuha ng both, uh, tag dito, both math and science. So, meron tayong 45 uli. So, minus 45 uli. So, 91 minus 45, 46. Okay. Okay. Sunod naman natin. Ano kasunod? 111. Oh, may nalakawan pala ako. Sorry. 111 taking both English and science. Oh, mali ako. Sorry, sorry. Dito pala ang uh, math and science. Dito ang 46. Sorry. Okay. Dito mo na. Nagkamali ako ng sulat. Okay. Alright. So, next. Tulit tayo. English and science. Okay. Paumanhin. Nagkamali ako ng tingin kanina. So, English and science. 111. Minus 45. Okay. 66. Okay. Ayan. So, kompleto na, nat kompleto na yung mga common nila. Okay. So, to check, sabi dyan... Uh, 91, we're taking both math and science. So, 46 plus 45 is 91. At saka, 111, taking both English and science. English and science. Okay. 45 plus 66, 111. And 142 are taking both English and math. So, this one. So, i-add nyo lang yan para magtali yung given do sa word problem. Okay, moving on, dito naman tayo sa mga only math, only science, only English. So, erase muna natin to. Okay. So, sabi dyan, 194, we're taking math class. Okay, 194 daw. Pero ang was sa 194 na yon kasama na ito. Itong 46, 45, at 97. Okay? Again, do sa 194, kasama na itong 46, 45, at 97. So, magiging sagot natin dyan. So, kailangan uh, isubtract natin yung mga nandito na 90 uh, plus 97 okay so 194 or minus 46 minus uh, 45 and then 97 so meron lang na 6 students na kung saan mat lang ang kanilang kinukuha okay walang science walang english or walang science at walang English. Talagang mat lang. Okay? Next one. 210, we're taking English class. Okay. So, 210, eh, erase ko muna to. Okay. 210, taking English class. Okay. So, again, sa 210 na yon kasama na ito 97, 45, and 66. So, 210. So, i-minus natin lahat ito. Pwedeng ganito na lang. 45 minus 97 minus 66. Okay. So, ilan ito? Okay. 
Okay. Dalawa lang. Okay. Two. So, ibig sabihin, dalawa lang ang kumukuha ng English. And last, 170, we're taking science class. Okay, 170. I-minus mo yung... Yeah. I-minus natin yan. So, science naman tayo. Okay, so ito na yun, no? Yan. So, i-minus natin yan. Minus 46, minus 45, minus 66. Okay, 170, minus 46, minus 45, minus 66. Okay, 13. So, 13 students ang kumukuha ng only science. So, paano naman natin ma... Masasolve yung letter D na kung saan ang question niya ay wala sa tatlong ito ang kanilang subject. So, ang gagawin natin, i-add natin ito lahat ng nasa circles. Ika lang ha. So, 300, 300 no? So, i-add muna natin lahat. 6 plus 46 plus 45 plus 97 plus 66 ano pa? plus 13 plus 2 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 6 6 plus 46 plus 45 plus 97 plus 66, plus 13, plus 2. So, equal niya, 275 in total. So, ibig sabihin, itong 275 na to, kumukuha sila ng math, science, at English. Or English. Ang uh, total uh, students niya is 300, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, 300, Minus 275. So, meron lamang na 25 students na hindi kumukuha ng kahit anong subject sa tatlong ito. Okay? So, yan ang kung paano gumawa ng Venn Diagram. Okay, so pwede natin sagutan yung letter letter A. Okay, so uh, letter A questions. Ang sabi dyan, Uh, ilan yung kumukuha lang ng English? Ayan. Ito ha. Ayan. Two. Math and Science. So, Math and Science, ibig sabihin, pag-end, okay, magkaiba yan ha, yung or at saka end. Kapag end, ang kukunin nyo, ang i-add nyo, itong gitna lang. Kapag end, Math and Science, Itong nasa gitna lang ang kukunin nyo. 46 plus 45, which is 91. Okay? And then, math or. Kapag or naman, yan. Okay? Math or English. Math or English. So, ang i-add nyo, lahat. Lahat ng nasa loob ng math, lahat ng nasa loob ng English. Okay? Kapag or. Alright? So, ang sagot is 262. At yung kanina, none of these three subjects, 25.
Okay? So, I, linawin ko lang ha, itong or, kailangan i-add nyo lang ito. 6 plus 46 plus 45 plus 97 plus 66 plus 2. Makukuha nyo na yung 262. Alright? So, I hope na naitindihan ninyo yung aking paliwanag. Ako po si Concrew TV. Okay? Ganon kasimple, ganon kadali. Maraming salamat po.